So my monthly review is done in four parts. Recap, Mister, Mister, what are you doing? Why are you so needy when I start to film? Why are you so needy when I start to film? Can I not give them my attention? Can I not give them my attention? Hey there, I'm Kirsten, but if you want to be BFFs, you can call me Kay. If you aren't already subscribed, I'd love to have you join me here for videos every week on digital planning, iPad productivity, creativity, just creating and making the most of what you put out into the world. You all love my monthly digital plan with me videos where I show you how I set up my digital planners and incorporate digital stickers within my spreads. But I've been wanting to switch it up and take you more behind the scenes of how I actually plan for the month. Because my monthly plan with me videos are just a small piece of a bigger picture. My monthly review is done in four... My monthly review is done in four parts. Recap, where we look and summarize the month, see where our time went, what did and didn't get done, and just to even see what really happened. Clarify, this is where I look at where I am now and look at where I want to be and decide what changes, if any, need to be made to ensure that I get to where I want to be. Plan, which is essentially what you see in my plan with me videos. This is really just plugging and chugging dates into our planners and into our calendars. And then envision, which is arguably everyone's favorite step. This is where we manifest our goals, manifest what we want to happen this month, vision boarding, all of that fun stuff. I've included a free guide for my monthly review that you can find in the description of this video so we can use that and walk from steps one to two to three to four to conduct our monthly review. All right, so part one is recap. The first thing I like to do is look at my screen time or look at my time tracking app which I admittedly don't use often enough to get tangible good data from, but screen time is something that I have across all of my devices. I have it on my iMac, my phone, my iPad, my computer, and so I can look at all of that data and see where my time is going. Now I do have to take my screen time with a grain of salt because I do work from home and I run K Digital Studio from all of these devices, but it does help me see what time that I'm using on these devices in work and what time I'm using on these devices to kind of just mess around or kill time. I also like to look back through my digital planners, the daily pages, the weekly pages, the monthly page to see what I was writing down each day as far as tasks, what got marked off, what didn't, and just see how I spent my days. This is also just a pretty good gauge of what I did and what was accomplished that month. And it just kind of reminds me even what happens. I'm getting to a point where I honestly can't remember what happened yesterday or last week, so having this step is really important to me personally. Usually during my monthly review, I just kind of make mental notes of these things, but since I created a free guide for you, I decided to use that for myself as well and actually physically write this down. Another thing that I like to do during the recap step is just to reflect on what went well that month and what could have gone better. Next thing I like to do, which is bigger for me now than it was before K Digital Studio, is to clean up my finances. So I'll go through my bookkeeping and accounting software, which is QuickBooks, and I'll approve transactions. I like to go onto my different accounts and download statements from those, so my personal accounts, my business accounts, go through those, see where money went in, where it went out, and journal that as needed into my QuickBooks. After that, I can just reconcile those accounts and they're ready to go for my accountant during tax season. I do this on a monthly basis just because it's easier for me to have a whole block of time where I can just mess with my finances, but I also do weekly check-ins on my personal accounts and my business accounts to see what's happening financially every week. This is also where I create a budget for the month and plan for future expenses. I've tried so many different styles of budgeting and financial planning, and I've found through a bunch of trial and error that the more automatic the financial system is, the less likely I am to look at it, care about it. Financial planning and budgeting really has to involve me in the process, so what I found worked best for me is actually writing down every single transaction on a digital notebook on my iPad. Currently, I am experimenting with an Excel sheet once again, so instead of writing, I'm typing, but I really have found that the more I'm involved in the process of my finances, 
the more likely I am to one, stay on budget and look at it, and two, curb any impulse buys. So I'd recommend finding a financial system that works for you every month and sticking to that and making sure you're staying on track that way. Next, I go through an SEO, which is search engine optimization workflow every month for KDigital Studio across all the platforms that you can find me on. And this is because one, I want the algorithm to like me, and two, most importantly, I want my audience, which is you, to continue getting the most amount of value out of the content that I create. And doing an estimate, a thorough search of what you all are searching, what is keeping you all engaged, what you're clicking on, what you're connecting with, what you're liking, helps me create and put out more content like that. So I like to dig through the analytics of this YouTube channel, I'll dig through the analytics of my Pinterest, my website, my Etsy shop, Instagram, essentially all the platforms that you can find me on. I also like to mark down my stats for each of these platforms. This isn't anything that I use to gauge the content that I want to create. It really is a way of me seeing how far my reach is every single month. And I like to write down those stats in the business digital planner that is from K Digital Studio that I'll have linked in the description below if you're interested in checking it out for yourself. But essentially it's a digital planner dedicated to small business owners or content creators. And there's a spread in that digital planner where I can mark down those stats. I also like to set reasonably tangible goals as far as stats as well. And while all of this seems like a lot, the more often you do monthly reviews, sort of becomes kind of a routine and kind of a flow. And with each monthly review that you do, you'll find yourself getting quicker at it. All right, so the next step is clarify. Sometimes we overbook and over to do ourselves and I'm notorious for doing this to myself. And so it's really important to clarify our goals, our tasks and our to do's. So basically just doing a little bit of self reflection. So what can we reasonably get done and do this month? What are some things that we should probably cut out and put lower on our priority list? And how can we respect our personal time this month? So I like to take a look at something that I call a trigger list. It just helps me run through some things, maybe around the house, maybe in K digital studio and helps me formulate different goals, different projects, or different to do's that I can do for myself or for K digital studio. There's also a master to-do list that I like to look through, also looking at next month's goals, next quarter's goals, maybe next year's goals even. And then essentially after looking at all of that, self-reflecting on what I think I should do and what I think I should focus on on this month, and maybe even some things that I should probably cut down or push back, I like to brain dump and essentially word vomit onto the page everything I can absolutely think of this month, maybe something in the back of my mind that's bothering me, so I'll brain dump appointment dates, due dates, deadlines, project ideas, even small little things like buy a gift for somebody or something like that. Essentially just anything random that flows into my mind during this planning session. Then I look at that brain dump and essentially create a hierarchy. What can I save for later? What should I worry about now? What should I worry about tomorrow? What should I worry about next week? What don't I need to worry about until much, much later? Also, I ask myself, what are some things that I need to put greater focus on this month? What actually needs to get done? How can I respect my time this month? What can I say no to? Cross them out. So I take all of my answers to those questions and I move on to part three, plan. So I plug in all of those dates, those deadlines, appointment dates, into my calendar or into my digital planner. And then I save all of the excess or things that I wanna cut out or push back, and I push those all onto next month, and I'll plan it out and figure it out all then. I make sure to also plan in my downtime and rewards for getting things done. Any time sensitive info or anything that I wanna get a notification about, I'll put into my Google Calendar so I can get a notification for it because I do have a master and supporting calendar set up and if you aren't familiar with a master or supporting calendar setup, I'll link my video in the cards and down in the description below so you can learn a little bit more about that setup and see if it'll be beneficial for you. But essentially, my master calendar is where all of my dates, deadlines, and projects go, things where I wanna get notifications for, and then my supporting calendar breaks that down further, writes up tasks, ideas, and more of a brain dump session. Once everything is plugged in and ready to go, I reflect, think about, or write down things that I am excited about for the month. 
It can be easy, especially when you're in this brain dump and kind of random flow moment where you're already feeling bogged down with to-dos and things that need to get done for the month. So it's super important for me to feel more grounded and just more excited for the upcoming month by reflecting on things that I'm really, really interested and excited about for the month. And the last step of my monthly review is Envision. A lot of people create vision boards for this purpose and just have a blast with sitting down and creating vision boards for the month. I'll be sure to link my Pinterest vision board below. I'll have all kinds of aesthetic images and things that might connect with you and your own visions if you're interested. And I'll continually add to it as I find inspiration myself for my Pinterest vision board. Personally, I really do like vision boards, but I also love writing down affirmations writing down my goals as if I've already accomplished them. There's honestly so many different ways that you can do the envision step, and it really is important to manifest yourself as if you're already accomplishing the goals that you've created. And also you could switch up how you envision month to month. So you could do a vision board this month, next month you could do an affirmation exercise, there's just so much you could do, and you wanna make sure that it connects with you and your own goals. So that was my four step process for doing a monthly review for the month recapping the last month and then planning the upcoming month. This is something I intentionally go through and make time for on the first of every month. And sometimes I'll carry that on to the second day of the month if there's anything I need to sleep on and think about, which generally happens for my more busier months. If you enjoyed this video, then you'll love the videos I'll have linked in the description below for you to watch next. And if this was something that you enjoyed, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know that you like this content and want to see more of it. Let me know what you are most excited for in September in the comments down below. I would love to hear it and connect with you all and kind of manifest our goals for the month. Thanks again so, so much for watching. I truly enjoy making this type of content for you and I hope you're enjoying it as well. I hope you have the greatest September and I will see you next week with another video. Bye friends.